All right, we're back with the VT305, and we're going to do a flow test with it. Um, I'm going to test the oxygen output with a Draeger Fabius GS. I have a hook to hose from the inspiratory valve across through through the filter. You always want to make sure you use the filter to keep any dust or particulate of the VT305 and the expansion tube. This will let the air expand out and uh, won't give a direct shot across the sensors. Okay, um, the only other thing I did is I plugged the bag mount, so this is going to force all the air through this pipe. Um, I've also turned up our APL valve. Um, anything above zero, and that just all that does is forces the air through the VT305 and doesn't let it skip elsewhere. And now um, you can go through your VT305, and let's make sure we have the setups right. So we've done the oxygen calibration already, and Triggering gas standard, or we're going to use the standard for the NTPS, um, which is the normal temperature and pressure. So we're at 80 or about 60 degrees Fahrenheit um, room temperature and uh, atmospheric pressure. So that's what we're going to use for our gas standard. Um, the gas type, I'm going to use the air and O2 mix because uh, we'll be using both those in this test. Um, all right, and then we'll just hit the square button and bring up the flow, the liters per minute. I'm going to depress the O2. That's my flush valve, so I'm flushing at 38.0 liters a minute. I'm let go of that, and what we'll do now is we'll do a mixed gas test. We're going to turn our air to 10. And our oxygen to 10. So it's giving us a total of 20 liters a minute. Okay, and on our meter, you can see we now have 20 liters a minute. Um, if you just want to do oxygen, change your settings to oxygen only. If you want to do air only, change your settings to air only. Um, that's simple to do a flow test.